Hi, welcome to another Vivid Aquariums TV video. I'm Dave, and today I'm going to talk to you about flow in the reef aquarium. The question I get from many customers throughout the years is, well, how do I know how much flow to give my corals? I mean, it says low flow, medium flow, high flow. What is that? How do I know? Well, it is kind of difficult to explain precisely, but the first thing to consider is what types of corals you're keeping. If you're keeping soft corals or LPS corals, usually you want low to moderate flow. If you think about the size of the aquarium, I would say turning over the volume of the aquarium about 10 to 15 times an hour will be a lower flow. So if you have a 100 gallon tank, that means you have about 1,000 to 1,500 gallons an hour of flow. Now for moderate flow, I would say 15 times an hour at least, maybe up to 16, 17 times an hour. So again, for a 100 gallon tank, that's about 15 to 1,700 gallons an hour. And then for higher flow, you'd probably want at least 20 times an hour. So for a 100 gallon tank, that'd be about 2,000 gallons an hour. And you could go up even as high as 30 times an hour, which would be 3,000 gallons an hour in a 100 gallon tank. When thinking about how to place the power heads or aim the return jets in your aquarium, you want to have some distance between them and the coral. That's why I like to have this jet here in the front corner of the aquarium because it has a lot of space before it's actually contacting coral, which means obviously this jet as it comes out is more of a narrow stream, but as it gets further away from the jet, that stream is spreading out wider and wider and spreading out the flow more like a wave in the ocean. So same thing is true with power heads. If you have a power head stuck to the side of the tank, it has a very narrow stream, but that stream is spreading out as it gets further away from the power head. So definitely create some space between the power heads and the coral. If you have a power head you want to put on the back glass of the aquarium, you can aim it actually at the front glass. Say if I had one in the back corner and it hits here, it's going to hit here and bounce and swirl and go back against the reef. That way it's not directly hitting the corals too hard, but it's definitely creating water movement throughout the aquarium. Another thing to consider is the placement of the coral. If you have a coral, you don't want the flow blowing straight at it, especially if the jet is very close. But a lot of times just overhead is good. Depends what type of coral. If you have acropora, they can take more direct flow into them than say a soft coral that just wants current around it. The other thing to consider is changing water movement. If you use a uh, wave maker such as the Ocean's Motions or a control board power head like an MP40 or the, anything that can create changing water movement, that gives a coral a chance to rest between pulses of water so it's not getting constantly hard flow in the same direction. And that gets flow on all sides of the coral. It'll get hit from this side some, then from the other side, and that's very important for any corals to have changing flow. Obviously in the ocean, they're not getting constant flow from one direction all the time, they're getting changing flow. Many customers ask me, well, why do I need flow in a reef tank? What is it that's so important about flow? Well, not only does water movement or flow bring oxygen to the corals, it also delivers important elements such as calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium to the corals that helps them to grow. And water movement can also carry plankton and coral food to the corals. Obviously in the wild, especially, Corals don't get target fed by hobbyists, so they rely on currents to bring them food. As the food floats by, their polyps are designed to catch it out of the water. So definitely very important for oxygen exchange and uh, growth of the corals. This hobby and definitely a mastering the flow takes a lot of technique and fiddling around, but that's a lot of the fun of it. So have fun with it guys and hopefully this is helpful. Thanks.